We also built in conditional logic workflows that would trigger certain approvals based on answers that were given. We also built those workflows based on the legal review thresholds, which when pressure tested changed, right? When it suddenly it was like budgets are being cut, you get less lawyers or actually we can't afford to continue to add lawyers when scale happens or when contracts go up. So those are the moments you make strategic decisions about like, what are you just not going to review anymore? And how are you going to communicate that to the stakeholders? And how are you still going to make it easy for them to make sure that those contracts are well done, well executed? Did you do that in advance of those ups and downs? Is that something you did at a strategic level or was it more reactive as needed? So both. I think, you know, going into any role, I sort of set a threshold to say, okay, these are the contracts based on my current team that we're going to review. This is the reality of sort of the situation. And this is the diligence. And maybe at one point, you know, right now in my role, it's all of them, right? Uh, At some point it might become on the vendor side, I'm only going to look at stuff in excess of X dollars or on the sales side, deal desk is going to get trained on doing contracts under Y, right? And as frankly, the economy changes and as the business changes, those are the triggers for changing those thresholds. And I think those are the moments you say, okay, we're not looking at, these contracts anymore. Business, you're so good at doing this yourself. I built you a workflow. All you got to do is answer these questions. And also it's click to accept. All you got to do is send it to your counterpart. And now there's a lot less back and forth involved. So on the process side, I think there's opportunities to leverage technology, really empower the business to do as much without legal as possible, which then reduces our need for overhead. On the people side, the thing I'll offer is especially when I was junior in house, I thought I had to do everything, no matter how little I had. And so I was like, I'll do it all with nothing. And that would be my value proposition, right? And that was not a great approach to doing more with less uh, because that sort of A, sets bad precedent and B, creates a dynamic where you're actually not empowering people in the business to do more. And the reality of tech startups in particular is, your counterpart teams are always going to scale and grow faster than legal is. And it is in legal's best interest to make sure that those scaling teams are able to take on some of the responsibilities that rightfully, you know, should be with them in terms of how to do contracts and how to continue to scale. Because we should never have as many lawyers as we have salespeople. That just doesn't make sense. 